Democratic candidate Marianne Williamson's take on Dorian is also under fire. She deleted a tweet where she suggested that we could all use the power of the mind to change the path of the hurricane. But her spokesperson defended her by saying when others speak of prayer, and the mind, it's considered profound. But Williamson is held to a different standard. No, she's not. She didn't say, listen, let's, you know, all have a prayer. That's not what she said. She yeah. said, use your mind. You know, people know what prayer is. People don't understand when they're talking to God. What was suggested is like, you can block it with your head. Like telekinesis. You know, just like, stop. <laughs> That's what, that's what it said, and you can say I made a mistake, or okay, I misspoke, or, or this maybe is what I, I think believe. different, this is wow, or what I think, but you can't, people aren't stupid. They're just, they're not, they know what you, they hear what you said, and you know, it's been a couple of years where people have heard people say things, and they say, I never said that. Mm -hmm. So nobody wants to be gaslit anymore. I think she anymore. believes she can levitate things with her brain. She might be able so to. So why, why doesn't I do she levitate she Trump, Trump, then? She should, <laughs> but she, she should levitate, stick, she should go for the... She's well, a she, spiritual she healer. May be, she she believe, may be able to believes. do all those things, but then say that. Yeah. You know, yeah. don't don't <laughs> pretend that's not what you mean. Please, say that. You know, you know, only the tweet. Pete Buttigieg was very interesting on this subject of religion mm -hmm. and the climate change. And yeah. I'll just read what he said. Yeah. And then she, what she's saying is that the secular left, mm -hmm. by making fun of the power of prayer or whatever, maybe in, in her case, the power of, of creative visualization, is losing voters by making fun of that. And Pete Buttigieg makes the case. Mm -hmm. You know, he says, if you believe that God is watching as poison is being belched into the air of creation and people are being harmed by it, mm -hmm. countries are at risk of vanishing in low-lying areas, what do you suppose God thinks of that? Mm. I bet he thinks it's messed up, and you don't have to be religious to see the moral dimensions of this. At least one way of talking about this is that it's a kind of sin. So I think that bringing religion into the climate change conversation mm -hmm. is very, very helpful. That's great. Many people believe in God. Yes. And I don't believe that God, if, if God exists, wants his planet to be destroyed. So I don't get why religious people are not climate enthusiasts, climate, oh, you know, yes. uh, what do you call it? I oh, agree. Right. That climate people, they're, 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 they're mainly believers. climate deniers in the well, evangelical movement. There's been movement. hypocrisy, though, and in politics and media for, for many years, but that made me uncomfortable. Me too. The, the Williamson thing made me uncomfortable, and, and I love Mayor Pete. Mm -hmm. Everyone that watches the show knows I Why love Mayor Pete. Why does this make you that, I, I never want to be in the business of telling people what I think God thinks. And I've been a huge proponent. I'm a very President spiritual Pence person. Well, it's in the Bible. Wait a second. Let me finish. Have you read Genesis? There's a hard rap here. This is just my personal opinion. I'm a yeah. very spiritual person. Yeah. I have always been a defender of the separation of church and state. And I don't mm -hmm. like mixing the two. That, for me, hearing Pete Buttigieg talk about what he thinks God thinks and telling the people what they should then think what God thinks, that was uncomfortable. Well, you should talk but, to Pence and the Republican well, Party then. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that, that's, I have so to so We're going right now because we're, that's what we're doing. We'll be right back. All right.